Okay, so the X-Men were based on the descriptions of the African powers. So Logan, who is Wolverine, that is the stolen energy from Ogun, the god of metal. Ogun carries three machetes in each hand. Wolverine, when he gets upset, he gets three machetes on each hand. And the name Logan itself actually reveals evidence from whence they stole the idea because when you drop the L off Logan, you get Ogan, O-G-A-N. You turn the A to a U, you get Ogun, which is the god of metal in Africa. I'm actually a child of Ogun, okay? Then we go to Holly Berry Storm. Storm was stolen from the African power Oya. Oya is the feminine energy of the wind, the hurricane, the tornado. She's the bringer of change, and she's also the carrier of the ancestors. Mm -hmm. So Storm was stolen from Oya. Thor was stolen from Shango, the most popular of all the Orisha or the powers of the West from the West African spiritual system called Ifa, practiced by the Yoruba. Thor's colors are red and gold. Shango's colors are red and gold. Thor element is thunder. Shango's element is thunder. Thor carries a double-sided axe. Shango carries a double-sided axe. Aquaman is Olokun. And we could go on and on and on, but all of the X-Men and the Marvel comic heroes, most of them are nothing but the stolen gods of Africa, given a different name and turned into white men and white women. Well, they steal most of our stuff. Yes. So that ain't no surprise. Yes. Right? Dr. King was a Christ. Malcolm X was a Christ. Mega Evers was a Christ. Fred Hampton was a Christ. Booker T was a Christ. Nat Turner was a Christ. Denmark Vesey was a Christ. Gabriel Prosser was a Christ. The Prince of Pan-Africanism is a Christ. You can never see God, but you can feel his energy through his chosen ones that he sends. And guess what, brothers and sisters? All of you are Christ. Every black woman is a Christ. Every black man is a Christ. If we can only get in touch with our divine core from which to live our life in such a way that we can achieve anything that we want. We don't have to look for anything outside. What we need for African redemption, what we need for African liberation, what we need for African resurrection is in here. Garvey found it. Malcolm found it. King found it. Patrice Lumumba found it. Nkrumah found it. Biko found it. Cabral found it. Kamathi found it. Torre found it. Julius Nyeri, they found it. And they lived from it. Menelik II found it. His Majesty, Emperor Haile Selassie, he found it. Queen Nzinga found it. Ya Asantiwa found it. Ida B. Wells, Fannie Lou Hamer, Sojourner Truth, Harriet Tubman, Solomon Northrop, they found the Christ lying inside of all of us. Reach down, black man and woman, as Garvey said, and pull out the Christ that is buried deep within your soul. And the reason we have trouble finding the Christ it's because it's been covered up with propaganda. It's been covered up with religious doctrine. It's been covered up with media socialization. It's been covered up with public school miseducation. You have to pull it away, pull off all the silt and all the rubbish and all the soil that covers up your Christ energy. We are all the X-Men. Do you get it? We are the X-Men. We are the superheroes. Every man and woman African in the world is a superhero. You got a special talent that God gave you, just like Superman, just like Incredible Hulk, just like Wonder Woman. You got a special God-given talent that you have to find. And by the way, all those comic book characters are stolen African deities. By the way, all those comic book characters are stolen African deities. By the way, all those comic book characters are stolen African deities. Superman is an archetype of Shango. Thor is an archetype of Shango. Incredible Hulk is an archetype of Ogun. Wolverine is an archetype of Ogun. Wonder Woman is an archetype of Oya. Aquaman is an archetype of Olokun. 
every single superhero that exists was created, fabricated, and plagiarized from the divine conscious energy and information through which God sent the Orishas, the Loas, the Abusums, and the Netters. We are divine. We are divine. And we're going to have to find our divinity in order to achieve our liberty. We're going to have to find our, not no religion. Stop running to religion. You can't find divinity in a book. Your divinity is in no book. I have the Bible. I have the Quran. I read them both. I love those books. They don't compare to the Holy Odu Ifa, but I love those books. I read the Old Testament. All of those books are plagiarized versions of the traditional African metal nature and other Nile Valley spiritual texts. So I don't have no problem with the Bible. It was taken from me. I have no problem with the Quran. It was taken from me. I have no problem with the Old Testament. It was taken from me. So I'm not against religion, but you cannot find your divinity in nobody's book, in nobody's church, in nobody's mosque. The only place you're going to find your divinity is in you. The only place you're going to find your divinity is in you. No priest can give it to you. No preacher can give it to you. No bishop, no saint, no imam. The only place you're going to find God the only place you're going to find your own personal connection to the most high consciousness that runs this world is in you. You can go to church. That's where you fellowship with people looking for God. You can go to the mosque. That's where you fellowship with people looking for God. But the most holy place, the most sacred place in all of humanity, the most sacred place in this universe and only there. Only there will you find your creator waiting to meet you. And that is right here in the heart of heart and in the soul of souls, brothers and sisters. That is right here in the heart of heart and soul of souls. And that's why Jesus started in the temple, but he had to get out. Muhammad started in the temples, but he had to get out. Buddha started in the temples. He had to get out. Krishna started in the temples. He had to get out. Religion is a bridge. It is not a home. Religion is a bridge. It is not a home. Religion will take you from point A to point B. It cannot take you to divinity. Only you can take yourself there. Only you can take yourself there. God's chosen people. The biggest lie told is that religions were chosen. God didn't choose the Muslims. God didn't choose the Christians. God didn't choose the Hebrews. God's chosen people are African people. The firstborn of God is the African. The firstborn of God is the African. The Bible says, blessed be the firstborn. If blessed be the firstborn, the African man and woman are the firstborn of the creator. We are the chosen ones. That's why nobody likes us. That's why nobody likes you. Not the Arab, not the Indian, not the Chinaman, not the Anglo-Saxon, not the Jew, not the Mexican. Nobody likes you. Everyone's jealous of you because you are the chosen ones. Stand up and claim it. Stand up and claim it. This is the Prince of Pan-Africanism.